Contracts and hiring practices were the focus today in the Michael Jackson wrongful death trial. It comes down to who was responsible for hiring and overseeing Dr. Conrad Murray. KKLN's Randy Page has more on today's testimony and why it is so important to the case. When Michael Jackson asked AEG Live to bring Dr. Conrad Murray on board as his physician for the This Is It concert series, AEG negotiated this contract with Dr. Murray. Notice the title of the contract defines Dr. Murray as an independent contractor. Attorneys for the Jackson family brought an expert witness in July to court who testified proper hiring practices for companies like AEG require the company to assess the risks posed by an independent contractor and to properly check the candidate out by running credit checks, for example, as well as checking their professional history. Something AEG did not do, the plaintiff's expert witness testified. Well, today, attorneys for AEG brought their own expert witness who offers a very different conclusion. I absolutely do not agree, human resources consultant Roma Young testified for the defense. Did you see any evidence in this case? At Young, seen that? here in April, testifying in a video deposition for this case, testified today it is rare for a company to run a credit check for an independent contractor, particularly a doctor. Young added, physicians bring with them a built-in background check, thanks to their medical license, which includes criminal background checks and verification of skills, education, and experience. Today's testimony goes to the heart of this case because it addresses the one and only question the jury will be asked to decide, and that is, was AEG Live negligent in the way it hired and supervised Dr. Conrad Murray? Next and wrongful death trial focused on Dr. Conrad Murray today. Who hired him and who did he answer to? Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez joins us live at the courthouse with that. Miriam? Ellen, jurors are looking at a big gray area in civil law, and they're learning that they must consider multiple elements to decide whether AEG is liable for Jackson's death. Today, AEG defended, it defended itself with an expert who testified about background checks and hiring practices. Michael Jackson died at the hands of Dr. Conrad Murray. Now in court, accusations fly about who was responsible for hiring and controlling the doctor in the first place, Jackson or Jackson's tour promoter, AEG. This unsigned independent contractor agreement drafted by AEG has become a central document in the case. It spells out the terms of Murray's employment. Today, the AEG witness is a human resources consultant. Roma Young reviewed AEG's policies for retaining both independent contractors and employees. She described the AEG agreement as unusual because it involves three parties. Quote, it was AEG acting on behalf of Michael Jackson to get his request honored. He wanted his personal physician to go with him. Unquote. She testified that AEG operated within industry standards in human resources, that the company has a screening process for hiring employees, and that the independent contractors, such as Murray, are vetted differently. A doctor, Young stated, comes with a license. Young rebutted the testimony of the Jackson HR expert, Gene Seawright, who testified that the doctor was in a high-risk, safety-sensitive job, that AEG should have investigated the doctor's finances. The Jackson attorneys assert that because Murray was about to lose his home and was behind in child support payments, that he complied with Jackson's request for propofol in order to keep his job as the star's personal physician for the tour. The AEG witness says there was nothing to indicate that Murray was in a high-risk position. She testified that credit checks are done for people who are being hired for high-ranking financial jobs, not doctors. The Jackson attorney attacked Young's credibility. Question, have you worked on negligence and retention cases? Answer, no. The plaintiffs also brought out from Young that AEG did not have a specific criteria that spells out what the company should do before hiring, retaining, or engaging an independent contractor. And tomorrow, uh, jurors will hear from more Jackson doctors who will testify about Jackson's request for propofol just months before he died. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles.